This is a story of some simple acts of kindness that happen in this tiny part of the world. Kindness can truly make a difference. Good morning. Good morning, Dad. Is it still dark out? It is. You know I love you, right? Can I start tying you up at night? I'll just untie the knots. Yeah. Well, in 22 minutes and 34 seconds, we have to be walking out that door. Around and up to 25. I'm not sure if my boss would appreciate me being late. Dad? Yes. Does your boss love you? What? No. Um, <laughs> you're just stalling. Come on. Up. Let's go. Come on. Do you know where my shoes are? They're probably where you left them. How come you're not ready yet, Link? Did you at least eat your toast? I can't remember where I left it last. Could you please go find it? You've got to eat something. Come on. It's six fifty, not seven thirty-five. It's too early. It's just a little early. A little uh, early. I have an important meeting today. What am I gonna do until they open? Just. Go over there, sit down on the benches until they open the doors. Did you even hear me ring the doorbell? You usually use your own key. Well, if I remember right, you were the one that said, Mom, you need to respect my privacy. Do you remember that one? Like you've ever done that. Why is it so stuffy in here? Please, open a door and let some air in. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Didn't you like the meatloaf? Yeah, it was good. You don't have to cook me food, right? You know that. But listen, I need to talk to you. I'm gonna make us some coffee, and then you and I, we're gonna have a chat. Sure. I'm really concerned about you. A man your age should be married by now. You really need to stop blaming yourself and get out of this house. I do get out. I go to work every day. I mean get out of this house and get some fresh air. You know, I've been thinking about going camping, so... Camping is actually getting further away from people. I don't know why you care so much if I get married or not anyways. Because I may not be around forever. Well, I've said my piece. Eat it while it's warm. Okay. It was the day that he released me from that wretched box. Who was this giant looking down at me? All I knew was that he was kind, and that's all that mattered to me. doctor's office for Pete's sake. Good. I mean, I made an appointment while well, all... You've got a dog. Oh my gosh, you never said you were getting a dog. That's because it was odd how I, how I got him. Wait a minute. It's a he? Yeah, why? Because boy dogs pee everywhere. You didn't think about that? You'll never believe where I found him. 
Somebody threw him away in the alley, in the garbage. Can you believe that? Somebody actually threw that dog away? I cannot. That's the most horrible thing I've ever heard. That's what I thought. You know, one good thing about this dog is you sure are smiling, and I like that. But son, have you really thought this through? Puppies are a lot of work. I know. Stinkin'. Look, Stinkin's an artist. Stop it! And what are you going to do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Why is your stuff all over the grass? I tripped and fell on it all. Fell out. You fell, are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to pick me up from school anymore. I'm old enough to walk home by myself. I like picking you up from school. Look, I'm sorry I got caught up at work today. Come on. I was a puppy. Puppies have a lot of energy, especially when they're left home all day. It's what we do. We chew stuff up. Scrappy! It's gonna work out. The tough part about being a dog is you never know where you're going next. But to be totally honest, I had a feeling it wasn't a good place. Don't worry, don't find you a good home. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Okay. You need to stay in one condition. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot about that dreaded cage. Okay. This is going to be your new home while I'm at work. I hated that thing. But it's what humans do. They lock stuff up. A couple years went by and that cage got a whole lot smaller. Boy. The thing about that cage, I quickly forgot about how much I hated that thing every time I was let out. <laughs> it's so nice to see you. Oh, you grab me. Oh, are you hugging me? That became my motto. You can never get enough hugs. Let's see, so your last job, you were a babysitter. 
Um, well, not exactly a babysitter. I was a nanny. Oh. Yes, I looked after a young girl. She was a handful for her parents. I homeschooled her and took care of her needs. Her needs? Right. She was very disabled. She couldn't walk or feed herself. I... She needed constant attention. Oh. Well, I see. Uh, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, uh, most of the clients that I deal with are receptionist or secretary, answer the phones type of people. You know what I mean. Yes, um, that's, that's why I'm here. Okay. Well, good. Uh, so, why did you leave that other job? The little girl's illness finally caught up with her and she passed. Oh. I was very attached to her. Mm -hmm. Her passing really affected me. So, that's when I knew it was time for change. <laughs> I see. And then that's when you moved here to the United States. Yes, um, you should have proof of my dual citizenship. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. My father was an American. He has since passed away. Oh, okay. Well, yes, it, it all makes sense. It, it, like I told you, uh, the jobs that I can offer you are secretarial office and that kind of stuff. That's fine. Okay, well, then uh, why don't we give these a shot. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck on that, too. All right. Okay. I have somebody coming in next, so. Oh, right. Yes. yes. I, I'll get going then. Thank you okay. very much. Bye-bye. Good luck. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was on the phone with client uh, from Africa. He's been, uh, how you say, difficult. Your resume, please. Oh, of course. Thank you. Uh, looks good. Your passport up to date? Yes, my passport is up to date. Good, because I am looking for someone who will travel to various places. Travel to various places? Yes, that is what I do. I travel the world, I collect artifacts, I sell them to my clients. It is very good money, so uh, I would, of course, be uh, paying for all your expenses. Oh, um... So, it is assistant job. You would be assisting me. I, I don't think I'm qualified for this job. <laughs> You're married. Mm, something like that. Thank you for your time. But it is good job, good pay. You travel the world. First class accommodations. Oh. There you go. What does he want? Everything uh, uh, okay, Dad? Yeah, everything's fine. You just um, start eating, okay? Hey. No, yeah, no, I saw the email. Look, he doesn't appear to be dissatisfied. No, I, hang on. Hey, Link, start eating. No, yes, no, well, I'll take care of it in the morning. Okay? I understand. Look, and we'll include that in the disclosure in the... In, yes. It, it has cinnamon. I don't think it has cinnamon. No. No, I'm just... Okay, no, we will take care of it tomorrow. I will get everybody on the same page. I promise. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Keep breathing.
two seconds. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I'm sorry I caused you so much trouble. Link, you're never any trouble to me. I promise I'll work on doing everything better. Something happened at school today. I just don't understand why all the other kids make fun of my name. Think it was a great man. I'm going to have to give them a call again. They just don't get it. Lincoln was a great president. He did a, a, a lot for our country. Kids can be mean. It's not your fault. It's about them, not you. Let's get some rest. I've accepted your decision, and I haven't bothered you, but you and I both know that Lincoln's a lot to deal with. Thanks for not helping. Mom, I wanted to show you that I got a B-plus on my homework. Let me see. You work hard for that B plus? Yeah. You know, something tells me you would have gotten A plus if you were working on that ridiculous stutter of yours. I'm sorry, I promise I'll work on it. You know what? Actions speak louder than promises. Remember that, Link. Come on, get out of here. Squirrels. 
I have a thing for squirrels. I don't know what it is about them, but they make me crazy, and I just... Hey, let it be. What are you doing in the closet? Why didn't you answer me? I just wanted to t t t take a nap. In the closet? Okay. So, as you know, things didn't turn out too well on those interviews, I'm afraid. Right. Yeah. Perhaps it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Perhaps God wants me to go back home. I think today might be your lucky day. A new job posting came in this morning that I think you're perfect for. Oh. Now, I know you had some hardships with your last job, with the little girl dying and all that, but I think you're perfect for this one. Really? Yes, yes. See, there's this little boy who's been having some hardships and difficulties with his social skills and, uh, you know, um, other minor things. And he needs to be homeschooled. He needs to be taken care of. And it's a full-time job. Here's the guy's name and address. Thank you. Um, thank you for your time. God, are you wanting me to go back home? Can you give me a sign, please? Hello. Now listen, you're thinking of not going on that interview, aren't you? 
You're right. I was considering going back to England and living with my sister and oh, her family. Really? It's a bad idea, isn't it? But it's the only plan I have. Listen, you said something to me that struck a chord. You said that you thought perhaps God wanted you to go back. Yes. I think it's the other way around. Really? Yeah. Let me tell you a quick story, okay? A couple of years back, I was in a bad place. I mean, a really bad place. And a perfect stranger told me to start over. So you and think I should start over? No, 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 no. Okay, uh, forget that story. I could hear it in the father's voice. They need you. Really? They do, they need you. Okay, now, uh, I, I gotta go. I got another appointment. Thank you so much for all your help. Just get it over with already. Right. Can I help you? Hello, I'm, uh... I I'll start again. My name is Miss Davies and I'm from the agency. You've probably already found someone to take care of your boy, haven't you? So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go, so... Actually, I haven't. Would you like to come in? Oh. Can I get you some tea? Please, that would be grand. Lincoln, I've got something for meat. Hello. You must be Lincoln. Come on, don't be shy. Are you from England? Yes, I am from England. Do you like castles? Yeah, they're pretty neat. We have them all over the place. Kings and queens lived in them, but some people still live in them to this day. Do you know what we call the old castles? No, what? We call them crumblies. Crumblies? Because they're so old, they begin to crumble. Does everyone in England dress like you? Not exactly, it's just something I prefer to wear. Thank you. My resume? So you have some experience in homeschooling? I was a public school teacher for 12 years. I taught children about your age. That's quite the last job you had. Yes, it was, um, it was very intense. The family no longer need you? Right, why did I stop working there? Um, the young girl succumbed to an unfortunate circumstance. Oh. Yeah. So can you start tonight? I, I have the job. Sure. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Lincoln learned the power of words and used them well. Excellent. All right. Miss Davies, why do you wear black gloves? Well, I have a skin disorder. I'm a bit embarrassed by it, but um, the gloves help. Can I see them? <laughs> you want to see my hands? Do they hurt? If I stopped wearing the gloves, they would. Don't worry, they're not contagious. <laughs> Can I t t touch them? Why is it that young boys are interested in gross things? I don't think they're gross. <laughs> they feel normal. Do people make fun of your hands? Yes, sometimes they do. All right. 
off to bed with you, lovely boy. So what do you think? You think that'll make a good painting? Hmm? What, you don't like it? <laughs> Why aren't you picky? Huh? <laughs> I've been in the house looking everywhere for you. I was beginning to get worried. Hi, Mom. Hi. I brought you some leftovers. You know you don't have to do that. I know, but how do I know you're eating right? I see you're back to painting. Yeah, it's been a while. Looks good, I like it. I need to talk to you about something. Do you remember my friend Charlotte? I know you have a friend named Charlotte. I forgot you met her. Well, anyway, I was talking to Charlotte about your situation, you know, living alone, steady job, loves animals. Well, her daughter is a widower now. Husband had a heart attack. Probably all that extra weight, if you ask me. Mom, you're driving me crazy. Okay, what did you want to tell me? Okay, Charlene and I were talking and we decided that we wanted to fix you up on a blind date. What? It never works out when you set me up on a date. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Maybe that one time. No, it was four times. No, no. Yes, it was. And have you ever thought that maybe I enjoy being single? That's ridiculous because everybody wants someone. Why do you care so much if I'm married or not? Because I'm not gonna be around forever. And who's gonna take care of you when I'm gone? I know you're lonely. I just wanna help. I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> He didn't say, but he said he'd check in on you while you're sleeping. How about we give it another try? I wonder what Jumper would do. They make fun of me at my school because of the way I talk. I'm afraid I have a confession to make. I stutter too. Not like I do. Oh yes. But I haven't heard you stutter once. That's because of something I learned to do years ago. What was it? Can I tell you a story? Well, this was a long time ago. You see, I loved the theatre. Well, theatres are everywhere in England. Almost every corner. Every corner? Well, not quite, but there are a lot of them. Anyway, I was rehearsing for this play. I was to play the princess that lived in a castle. Let's just say they weren't exactly thrilled with my stuttering. And they almost cast another much prettier girl. What did you do? Well, the director was so frustrated with me that he grabbed her chair and he threw it across the stage. And then he sneers over at me, looks me in the eye and screams out in this big booming voice, Just be that princess already! Were you scared? Well, yes, I was. And then he, he shouted out from the beginning. So you know what I did? I took a deep breath. I closed my eyes and I imagined myself the most beautiful princess, loved by all the people of the court. And finally, when I spoke, the words of the princess came out of my mouth perfectly. Wow. From that day forward, 
I imagined myself that wonderful woman loved by all and I spoke through her. Who is the woman? Well, she was simply a better version of me and soon I became that woman and then the stuttering grew less and less until finally one day it vanished altogether. Do you think it would work with me? Hmm, it may. Let's try something. All right, close your eyes. Take a deep breath. I want you to imagine a boy. He is smart, he is funny, and people adore him. <laughs> Isn't he wonderful? Okay, let's stand you up. Shoulders back, chin up. Can you still see that boy in your mind? Now repeat after me. My name is Lincoln. My name is Lincoln. I was named after one of the greatest presidents that ever lived. I was named after one of the greatest presidents that ever lived. I am smart, I am funny, and everyone loves to hear me talk. I am smart, I am strong, and everyone loves to hear me talk. Lincoln! That was perfect. You didn't stutter once. I didn't? No, you didn't. Oh, come here, lovely boy. Oh, that was great. One more thing. I've never told anyone about my character before. You're the only person I've ever told. So I shouldn't tell anyone? Exactly. Think of it like your little secret. Oh, that was so good. Oh, Lincoln. Dang. Maybe next time, buddy. Ah, it's a good boy. We can... It's pretty comfortable, isn't it? Yeah? You a happy guy? Scrappy! Scrappy! 
So that would make it 5.15, wouldn't it? Hello. Dad. Hey, buddy. Working on some homework? His math has greatly improved, hasn't it, Lincoln? Mm-hmm. You've been working really hard. You know what I think? I think you and I deserve a day trip tomorrow. Tomorrow? Sure. Why not? Things at work are going really well. Thanks to Miss Davies. Dad? What? Where are we going? You know what? I think that's going to be a surprise. I think we could all use a day off tomorrow. You can enjoy your day off. We'll be back tomorrow night. We can really get some stuff done, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Do you miss your old school? No. So you'd like uh, Miss Davies to keep working with you? Yeah, but why? I just thought I'd ask. Why couldn't she come with us? <laughs> because she's not family. Is mom still our family? Your mom will always be your mom. I thought families live together. You're right. They should live together, just sometimes they don't. I still don't get it. Do you miss mom? Do I miss mom? Um, yeah, I guess. I miss Miss Davies.
nice out here. You know I love you, right? Love you too. Someone's following me. It's a boy. He seems nice. Never get enough hugs. Lake! Lake! Lincoln! Lincoln! Come to me, alright? Back away from the dog. No! Come to me, now. Come here, come here, come here. You can't just be feeding wild dogs that are out here in the desert, all right? We have to leave him here. Come on, let's go. Don't make eye contact, come on. Where are you guys going? We're not taking him with us. Dad? Dad, he likes me. Still don't understand why humans like to bathe us. I mean, what's wrong with a little dirt anyway? It's gonna be a lot of work. 
I mean, you're going to have to walk him and feed him and bathe him. It's a lot of responsibility. I'll take good care of him. I promise. And there's one thing I won't budge on. It's if he destroys anything, ruins anything, he's gone. You understand? I understand he's my full responsibility. There's something good in here. Oh, there's something good in here. Oh, there's something good in here. Oh, there's something good in here. That's pretty good. That's what I do. Do we have a s stapler? Yeah, it's the first round in the hallway. Thanks. Are you coming back? Excuse me, I, I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm looking for my dog and I'm wondering, have you seen him? Hudson Miller? Do I know you? Probably not, you were quite the football star back in high school. Yeah, that, that was a long time ago. Let me see the picture. Oh, cute dog. Yeah, he is. You been looking for him long? Well, he kind of ran off last week and I've decided to come out this weekend and see if I could find him. Oh. I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll help you look for him if you give me a lift back into town. I'll give you a ride into town if you need. I, I, I mean, you, you really don't have to help me look. No, it, my ankle does this from time to time. Just being too ambitious. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> you, re you really don't have to help me look for him. I, I don't mind giving you a ride into town. Oh, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I have to admit that I don't actually remember you. <laughs> you were a big football star and I was invisible. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit of a jerk back then. I thought it was God's gift. Everyone's a gift from God. So are we gonna look for a scrappy or what? Thank you.
Dad what happened at the park. Why don't you want me to tell your dad what happened at the park? Because it's not his fault that I'm s s stupid. Now you listen to me. You are not stupid. You shouldn't even say that word. I'm sorry I let you down. Hey, you could never let me down. You are perfect in every way. So, tell me what happened. I was out in the desert hiking and some guy stops me and says he's looking for his dog. Now when I got a better look at him, I realized he was a guy I had a crush on in high school. High school? Uh-huh. Did he remember you? No, he didn't. Oh. He's a popular guy and I was kind of quiet. So, what happened? I gave him a sandwich. And then we looked for his dog, and then he took me back to my car. <laughs> oh, this is a picture of his dog. Oh. He was married? No, I don't think so. And you didn't exchange numbers? No, we didn't. Come on, what happened to the new Anne? I know, I know, I just, I didn't think he was into me. You just met him, hon, what did you expect? It's not meant to be. Okay, see this? This is what I've been telling you. You do this to yourself every single time. I'm doing the best I can. What's his name? Hudson Miller. It's not a very common name. I think we should look him up. All right. You got an address. There you go. Go visit him. Just shop at his house? Yep. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. You are returning a picture of his dog. Oh, that's lame. It's not that lame. It's a good excuse. Hello? Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have fell asleep. What are you doing out here? Looking for my dog. When was the last time you seen him? Oh, it's been a couple weeks. A couple weeks, huh? Thank you. Look, I'm out here every day. I haven't seen a dog out here. You know, the nearest water supply is a good eight miles from here. I don't want to get your hopes up. Because that's a long time to be out here with no water. I must have taken it by mistake. Thanks. All right, I'll be honest with you, as I've gotten older, I decided to not waste time and to live in the now. Anyway, I just picked up some takeout and I bought way too much. Don't know what I was thinking. Probably already have plans for dinner. No, I actually was just working in back. I hadn't even thought about dinner. but. Uh... I'd love to have dinner with you. Oh, well, then I'll just go grab it from the car. Great, I'll wash up. That was the 
delicious. Glad you liked it. So, how did you find my address? Not that I mind. <laughs> That's easy nowadays. Technology, huh? I don't even have a computer. It's a little creepy, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm glad you stalked me. <laughs> Do you think I'm being overly dramatic about Scrappy? No, I think you need to take all the time you need. <sighs> Thank you. Lincoln, he's not due for another hour. Get back to this. He's home. He's home? Oh! Got that here also. Listen, I'll see you in the morning, okay? All right, good night. Hey, how is everything? Good. Is Miss Davies here? Yeah, she went back there in the, in the bathroom. Hmm. You think she'd be interested in staying to have pizza with us? I'll go ask her. Pizza with you. Uh, hi, yes, I would like to have a pizza with you. <laughs> okay, then uh, we'll get it ordered. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Right. <laughs> he likes pizza. I'm just quiet enough to ask him nine times to get his hands done. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go order the pizza now. Okay. <laughs> Some big improvements in him. Doesn't stutter as much anymore. I don't know, he's just a different boy. He's actually a very smart boy. No, I couldn't have done it without you. Being a single parent's hard. I don't know how other people do it. I suppose they just manage with what God has given them. I've never asked about his mother. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't pry into your business. No, it's, it's fine. I guess she didn't want to be a mother anymore. She had other things to do. I truly believe that God has a plan for all of us. You may be right. Coming. Good morning. Morning. He's still in the back getting ready. I've got an important meeting to get to. Of course, go ahead. I've got this. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, my. Please don't tell me that was important. I need these notes for a meeting this morning. What did they tell you about the dog? If he messes up, he has to go. I gotta get to work. We're gonna talk about this tonight. 
you think he's gonna take Dingo away? Come here. I'm not sure. I think I'm ready. Come on, you go, buddy. If you're watching. Please don't let him wander around alone up there. Please find him and take care of him. Good boy. Lincoln, can you come and finish today's studies, please? Can we be done for the d d d day? Of course. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was happening, but I could feel something bad was coming. Before you say anything, I'd like you to hear me out. I understand that it's not my place to interfere and there's no question that the dog destroyed something of great value to you. I, I don't know, it may have even cost you your job, but please, I'm asking you, will you... Can you not punish Lincoln? The dog is too much for him to handle. I'll take full responsibility of the dog. Just don't do this to your son. Look, you probably want to fire me, but I'm not changing my mind on this. I'm not going to fire you. <laughs> Link, you can keep the dock. Really? We can keep Dingo. Karen, what are you doing here? Hey, how's my little boy? I see you got a new dog. I found him in the desert. <laughs> he even got a little taller. I I'm sorry, I don't know you. I'm Lincoln's mother. Oh, um, I'm Lincoln's nanny. A nanny? My son has a nanny. She helps him with homework and then watches him while I'm working. You know, working. I'm sorry, can you give us a minute? Of course. Thinking. Let's continue with where we left off, shall we? I was just so confused, but 
I've had a little time to think about it. Just came to tell you I'm sorry. Cheer you up. I'm fine. Hello? Is that Ann? I hope you like her. She's special to me. Oh, I'm so excited. Mom, this is Ann. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you have no idea. I've heard so much about you. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. You brought pies too. Yeah. Um, well, I hope you're hungry. <laughs> oh, I'll go get some dishes. <laughs> She's a darling girl. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Why are you crying? Because <laughs> I'm just happy for you. We've had so many ups and downs, and now everything's just perfect. You know what a crier I am. I don't want to cry, but I'm just happy for you. <laughs> I cry when I'm happy. It's okay. And I am. Oh, s sorry. I thought... No, no, it's, it's fine. It's just, it's me, really. It's just, I've been in a bad place for a really long time. Watched a wonderful career dissolve right in front of me. For years, all he did was go to work and go home. I never went out. I don't have any friends. And this little dog can live my life. Started to get out a little bit, and the next thing you know, I, I met you. I know it's silly, but I really, I really believe a dog helped me. That he, that he gave me the reason to, to get out of my sadness. And, you know. <laughs> well, maybe Scrappy taught you to forgive yourself. I think you're right. It did teach me how to forgive myself. No. Can we try that again? <laughs> Everything's going to work out. It's God's plan. You've got to trust him. What if he's wrong? He's never wrong. Oh, I almost forgot to give you this. You're going back to England? I'm going back to England. Now, what happened to Lincoln the superhero? Huh? He died. Oh, I think he misses you. Why don't you give him another chance? Now, come here and give me a big hug. Bye-bye, you. She gone? Yeah. Mm, too bad I didn't get to say goodbye. All right, you ready for dinner? All right, let's go get washed up. Come on. I made sure they didn't put any cinnamon on it this time. Thanks, Dad. And cinnamon? Yeah. Thanks for learning. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah, 
I remember that. So you excited for school tomorrow? See all your friends? <laughs> yeah. I know, let's get me tricky here. Let me show you. Okay. What you do is take this one, put it right over there like a pencil, and put that one on your third finger, and then wrap your thumb. There you go. <laughs> You'll get it. <laughs> here. Like this, watch. See that? And like this. You'll get it. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. It's okay. We're not in any rush, okay? Growl at me? Your dad lets a dog sleep in the bed with you? Diggo helps me s sleep. He doesn't mean anything by it. Oh, I meant it. All right. Try it again, lady. Get your sleep, okay? You got a big day at school tomorrow. All right? Love I think it is. Dad! Scrappy! Hey, hey, do I know you? This is my dog. Come here, baby. Come here. How do I know that? I lost him in the desert. Where'd you find him? Hi. Oh, I miss you so much. Look. Scrappy! Yeah, here, I mean, it looks like Come him. Here. Come here, buddy. Oh, I miss you so much. You know what? Here. Take him. Thank you. Come on, boy. Come on. I'm so Come on. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you should have seen it. I was chasing after this rabbit. He was really, really fast at it. You know, and then, where did you go? It's a miracle, right? He was over 40 miles from that camp area. What are the odds? That's exactly what I said. The woman didn't give you any trouble? I showed her the picture of Scrappy. And she knew. Well, there's no denying those legs. I can't believe you gave the dog away to a perfect stranger. The dog came right to him. He even had a picture of the dog. You should have called me. I 
guy loses his dog in the desert, okay? Are you having trouble putting two and two together here? It's his dog. It's not yours. How are we gonna deal with Lincoln? I don't know. You know, maybe it's about time he learns that life isn't easy. Hey, Link. She ruins everything. He needs to go to a special school. He's not like normal kids. Normal kids have friends. Normal kids play together. There's, just, there's gotta be a school that knows how to deal with kids like him. Kids like him? I need a break. Good morning. Link. Are you alright? That was the man's dog. It was my dog. We can get you another one. It would be him. He was my best friend. Why does she have to come back? Because she's your mother. She deserves a second chance. She's not like Miss Davies. Did you know she used to stutter like me? No, I didn't. Can I go live with her in England? We can visit you in the summer. You can come visit us. That's not gonna happen. Come on, let's get ready. Scrappy! Scrappy? What's going on? Come on, Wayne. What? She's gone. She went back to England. My name is Lincoln. I was named after one of the greatest presidents that ever lived. I am smart, I am strong, and everyone loves to hear me talk.
Scrappy. Scrappy? Hey, Scrappy. So I, I was feeding him, I put his food down like always, and he's not eating. He's not acting the same, something's wrong with him. Well, it's only been a couple of days. He's gonna need some time to readjust. It's a lot for a dog to process. Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, give him some time, he'll come around. Hey, Scrappy. Hey, Scrappy. How you doing, buddy? Come here. Come here. I know you said to give it some time, but there's something different about him. He's not the same. Here's the person that took care of Scrappy. Either call this person or throw the collar out. No, he's my dog, not theirs. I just want him to go back the way he was. And what if that doesn't happen? I'm <laughs> Priscilla from my dog. He was, he joined the team senior year. He was the new guy. Oh, I can't believe he found your dog. Crazy. Are you gonna call him? No. Adam. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. Come on in. Boys, we're not kicking that ball. <laughs> I remember that one. And Peterson wasn't open like he usually is. And you were. And you gave me that nod and I gave you that ball and you cut through their defense like it was butter. Yeah. <laughs> that was a long time ago. So did you ever get married? I was, and it's finally finished. Link! Hey, there's someone I want you to meet. 
Went to high school with this guy. Played football with him. <laughs> He's a little shy. So, do you ever think you'd like to play football someday? What kinds of things are you interested in? I would like to be a veterinarian. I would like to help animals. I guess he wants to be a veterinarian. I don't know how you found me, but I am sure glad you did. Me too, Adam. Me too. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. You too. Well, it's good catching up. <laughs> so you guys used to be friends? Yeah. Went to high school together. He was one of the best football players I ever knew. He had a bright future ahead of him, and then it just didn't go that way. Come on. I wanted to thank you, buddy. You got me out of a real bad place. You know, if it weren't for you, I don't think I'd have met Anne. I think maybe that's why God put us together. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. See you, no problem. Hey, brother. Thank you. Nice to see you. Come on in. Have a seat. Yeah? So, I wasn't exactly honest the other day when I stopped by. No, what are you talking about? I had to scope things out. Just a second. Take it Oh, I missed you. my best friend. Uh, I don't understand. You found my dog. I assume it was your ex-wife that gave him back to me? Yeah, she said she gave it to some stranger in the park. I think that Lincoln needs him. You mean he's going to live with us? It's okay with your dad. Is it uh, okay, Dad? Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure. So you should have seen him. It was like reuniting two family members. I can't imagine how difficult that must have been for you. It's really sweet. Is the position still open? Yes, the position is still open. Where is he? He's out back. <laughs> Come on. Miss Davy! We went over to Dad's house all the time. I still call him Dad. You want to know the really neat thing about this? Is that we are one big family now.